the UFC tonight. A stern road test against a woman with 10 stoppage wins to her credit, Jessica Andrade. Known in fight circles for her jiu-jitsu game, Marion Renault showed off her striking in her UFC debut last month as she impressively defeated Alexis Dufresne. But there would be no rest for the Belizean bruiser, who jumps back into the octagon tonight against Jessica Andrade. 23-year-old Paraná native Andrade dropped her UFC debut to Liz Carmouche back in 2013, but she has since won three in a row over Rosie Sexton, Raquel Pennington, and Larissa Pacheco, securing her spot among the Bantam way to leave. Coming up next, Mori and the Belizean Bruiser Renault versus Jessica Bate Azteca Andrade. Well, the women kind of stole the show at the weigh-in here on Saturday. Here is Marion Renault, five and one for her career. She is 37 years old. Tonight, her second fight in a span of seven weeks. And the confidence is high as she faces her toughest test to date, Jessica Andra. Yeah, I was very impressed with her toughness and her striking ability in her UFC debut, but she's also a world champion in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu at the purple belt level, so. Very, very, very well-rounded, very dangerous. Well, she started training as the only female in the gym, and early on, she hurt people, got the nickname the Belizean Cruiser. Comes in tonight with a four-fight win streak. She is a finisher in every sense. Has a very good guillotine, also a very sharp left hook. Three career wins by knockout or TKO. Actually owns a 10-second knockout. That came against Lydia Reyes back in 2012. Just a, a really physically impressive athlete, Marion Renault. Absolutely, you gotta talk about her athleticism. Looks very good in her first fight and looking to make it a second win in a row here in the UFC. Her scouting report on Jessica Andrade, from what I've seen, she's gonna be an absolute bull. She'll push a quick pace. Good news is that is very much the pace that Renault prefers. With her popularity rising to an all-time high, here is the 10th-ranked women's bantamweight representing Rio de Janeiro, Jessica Andrade. You know, I think a lot of people kind of wrote Jessica Andrade off early in her career. But now she's on a nice win streak. Short and stocky for the division, but she's very strong. And I like her approach as well, John. Just very, very smart fighter. Well, she used to be a truck driver on a farm. Used to play some soccer, actually, by the side as well. I think a lot of people fancy her a contender in this bandweight division. She is undersized. She doesn't cut a lot of weight to make the 136-pound limit. All indications are that 115 would probably be too steep a cut, but hard to argue with the results to this point in time in the Bantamweight division, trying to make it four consecutive wins tonight. Yeah, I mean, another win here. People still got, really got to start talking about Jessica Andrade as a possible contender in the near future here in 2015. So Jessica Andrade with the win here, this could be huge for her. 15 professional fights under her belt. She is still just 23 years old. Jessica Andrade has touched down inside the octagon for a fifth time. the tape, Jessica Andrade, still just 23 years old, fighting her 37-year-old American counterpart, Marion Renault. Renault four inches taller. She will enjoy a six-inch reach advantage. To get us started for the feature prelim, here is Bruce Buffer.
Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the women's UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. Five wins, one loss. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 134 pounds. Fighting out of Visalia, California, USA, Marion the Belizean Bruiser. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record. 12 wins, 3 losses. She stands 5 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Niteroi, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Jessica Batista and Raj. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Camila Albuquerque. So Camila Albuquerque, our referee, Jessica Andraz, rather quickly becoming a huge star in Brazil. A critical encounter tonight with Molly and Renault. Thank you very much, Luciana Andraz. We are ready to go with this highly anticipated women's bantamweight clash. It is Renault in the purple trunks. Second fight in seven weeks for her against Jessica Andraz, who rips the body early. Immediately, Andraj closes the distance, looking for that takedown. Has a very solid ground game, excellent ground and pound, a very dangerous guillotine that Renault will have to watch for. This was a popular pick for fight of the night. And on cue, these ladies getting after it early. Marion Renault landing the knee to the body there. She started training to fight to save money for her son's college tuition. And she has evolved into one of the better women's bantamweights on the planet. With the win over Andrade, oh! people are really going to take the orders. Look at that sharp one-two from Renault. And Renault really felt like Andrade's style dovetailed very nicely to hers. Both women set a furious pace, and Renault getting the combinations going, but Andrade with the early knockdown. Andrade countered very well. Renault looking for that triangle choke. She is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world champion. Andrade postures up and gets out of that one, but she's right back in it. She can get her leg out. She does. She's going to finish this, Sean. That is very, very tight. Andrade is going to be in trouble here. Andrade with a blue belt Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. She's in a compromising spot here early. Marion Renault just one career win by submission, but you mentioned the credentials on the canvas. Renault maybe trying to look for an arm lock as well. The combo landing some elbows from that position as well. That is very tight. And that one, too, has really blighted up the nose of Andrade. Yeah, that's There's it. the tap. Marion Renault with her second fight in seven weeks. She comes to Brazil and takes out the number 10 bantamweight in the world. Well, she did exactly what she needed to do tonight. People need to watch for her. Renault is a serious contender in this division. There is a new women's bantamweight contender. Wow. Her name is Marion Renault. Let's get to the move of the fight. Sponsored by Metro PCS Nationwide 4G LTE riding on the T-Mobile network for $50 period. Very, very impressive from Marion Renault. Had the triangle, got it again, slipped that leg out, and that's why you know people are gonna say, oh, you jumped the gun. No, that thing is tight. There's no way you're gonna get out of that. Those legs are long. That is a tight triangle, very fundamentally sound. And it was only a matter of time before Andrade was gonna tap. Spoken like a longtime Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. You saw it early, and Mari and Renault sort of welcomed the fight moving to the canvas. Huge submission victory for her. Was that the best move of the night? Tweet, let us know at hashtag Metro Move, and tune into Fox Sports Live for the winning move. We're back after this.
Well, Maury and Renault has muted the masses here in Brazil. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Camila Albuquerque has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 54 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke, Marianne the Belizean Bruiser Renault. So the year is not even two months old. Marion Renault has two UFC wins to kickstart her UFC career. All right, now we turn to earlier